Welcome back, YouTubers. Ashton Reef, part two of my DIY protein skimmer. Now I've drilled the holes, got my air pumps in here. So I'm just going to show you guys this. So this is the water inlet. It's going to be spinning in circles. And I have four air stones in here. Four. Yeah, yeah. Now that is a lot. The way I looked at it is I can turn them all down really low, or I can turn one off. That way it's better to have more than not enough. Kind of like Tim Allen. <laughs> right? There we go. So, now this is the bottom. So, boom. Like so. Got these little bad boys here, which I'll connect to tops and bottoms. And again, if I need to go buy more air pumps, I can hook up an air pump to each one. For now, I'm just going to do one air pump for two, which I think is good. I've got two pumps for this. Now, my water line here is very low in my uh, sump, as you can see here. So I'm going to need a fairly strong pump in order to get that water line up to here somewhere so that the uh, bubbles can collect. But that's why I wanted all these bubblers as well. So hopefully I can lower the water inside the tube and increase the bubbles and then just raise it out with the bubbles versus having a high water line. Then this will all be stuff that I'll fine tune before I actually glue the top on. I will glue the bottom on, but not the top. I'll just like to see how it works. Make sure it does work before finalizing it, because once you glue that top piece on, you're done. Then you have to go buy a new one. And I'm poor. What can I say? What can I say? Now here's a good view from the bottom. You'll see. Let's see. I'll get a straight down view here. There we go. Pretty much you can see that I've got two close, one on each side, one on that side, one there. Those are really close. So they're going to bubble here, and the other two are going to bubble in the middle. All right, so I've marked each one too so that I know which one's close, which one's middle as well, on the side of the tube so that I can fine tune them, etc. Just figure lots of fine tuning. Now I did put a small inlet pipe in here, it's only half inch. I think I should be able to cram enough water flow through half inch piping because again you really don't want it to move fast. Just stay in there two minutes plus. Anyway, I'll keep you guys updated. Peace out. Ashton Reef.